I was in shock about the whole thing, but it was just surreal. The whole time, you know, we're joking about, did, you know, did that really just happen? Never heard of nothing, nothing like this happened to anyone. Rob Holmes and his friend Brandon drove to Montana Sunday to go camping and fishing. Early Monday morning, Rob felt a tug on his ear at 4 a.m. So I knew I'd been hurt, but I don't know how bad, you know. And then when I looked at it, I'm like, oh. Rob started yelling to scare away whatever just bit him, and Brandon woke up and shined a flashlight on Rob to see the side of his head bloodied. They immediately drove to the hospital in Missoula. We got there, they, they were ready for us because 911 called them, so that was kind of cool. In Missoula, Rob was cleaned up, and it took 21 stitches to reattach the bottom of his ear. And even though doctors told him he is lucky to be alive and Rob's ear is still recovering, the two have no qualms with the bear. And it was just a bear doing what a bear does. I mean, I got a dog out back that puts his mouth on everything too because he's curious. Because there's cases where bears will attack tents, you know, and they'll start ripping them apart, pulling them apart, pulling them down. And that's not what he was doing. He was just walking by and saw it and was checking it out. And for these outdoorsmen, the self-described nick on Rob's ear won't turn them away from going back and doing what they love. It could happen to anyone. I mean, light, lightning doesn't strike twice. You know, it's not going to change. We'll, we'll still go back out there.